So let's move on to the next problem, which is problem number three in the lecture. And this one is telling that an aeroplane requires a speed of 80 km per hour for takeoff. The run on the ground is 100 meters. The frictional coefficient between the plane and the ground is 0 0.20. The mass of the plane is 10,000 kg, assuming uniform acceleration during takeoff. Calculate the minimum force required by the engine of the plane for takeoff. As you can make out, the question is a mix of kinematics and kinetics, and we shall understand it first by drawing a figure. This is the runway of the aeroplane, that is the horizontal ground. And suppose the plane is starting from this end, this is the starting point. So the plane was initially here. That is time t is equal to 0 and it's starting from rest, that is u is also equal to 0. And I'll be taking my x-axis along the length of the runway. Therefore, let me take the length of this runway to be delta x. And they have given in this question that delta x is equal to 100 meter, isn't it? The aeroplane takes off from here, from this point, where the time is t is equal to t. And the velocity is v. And they have given that during takeoff, the velocity, the speed has to be 80 kilometers per hour. So v is also given, that is 80 kilometer per hour, converting into the standard SI unit of meter per second is 80 into 5 by 18 meter per second as you can check it cuts by 2 9 denominator and 40 here this is coming out to be 200 by 9 meter per second it's important to convert this speed into si unit that is a stack of speed the mass of the plane will treat the plane as an particle and the mass of the plane is also given to be 10000 kg there is friction between the aeroplane and this runway and the coefficient of kinetic friction between the plane and the ground. Let me take the symbol for that is mu k and the value of mu k is known to be 0 0.2. Is there any other data? Let's see. Takeoff speed listed here. The length of the runway that is 100 meter taken here. The coefficient of friction mu k written down and the mass of the plane is written down. So you see that we can find out, once we have drawn this figure, let me show the plane somewhere during its run and identify the forces acting on this aeroplane as it moves to the right. I have chosen my coordinate system attached to the ground. Direction to the right is taken to be my plus x direction direction vertically upwards taken to be my plus y direction and what are the forces acting on the airplane during its run there is the force of gravity acting vertically downwards there is the normal force given by the ground vertically upwards there is the propulsive force exerted by the engine of the plane in the forward direction and there is the frictional force acting to the left at the bottom of the aeroplane given by the ground. These are the four forces and under this set of forces, the aeroplane possesses an acceleration of A, a constant acceleration A to the right in my figure. So let me write the forces as well. Force of gravity Mg, normal force N acting in the Y direction. Propulsive force of the engine, capital F acting to the right and the force of kinetic friction Fk acting to the left. So let us write down the equations of motion of the aeroplane first. Hello students, you got a glimpse of our video lessons through this small lecture. We have hundreds of lectures like this one covering various topics of advanced school level and intermediate physics in our website. They are exhaustive and often accompanied by elaborate diagrams to make concepts even clearer. They are taught with passion and sometimes with a bit of fun. 
So, at the end of the lesson, you have a commanding grip on the subject and you are ready for the board and competitive exams. Subscribe at physicsacademyonline.com to access video lectures of highest standard on various topics of physics. Hello students, you got a glimpse of our video lessons through this small lecture. We have hundreds of lectures like this one covering various topics of advanced school level and intermediate physics in our website. They are exhaustive and often accompanied by elaborate diagrams to make concepts even clearer. They are taught with passion and sometimes with a bit of fun. So, at the end of the lesson, you have a commanding grip on the subject and you are ready for the board and competitive exams. Subscribe at physicsacademyonline.com to access video lectures of highest standard on various topics of physics. Thanks.